So you want to do your first 100 mile ultra. You've done maybe two or three before of 30 to 40, 50 miles in length. You've got a little time to train, You've got busy life. It's exactly where I was last year before I did my first 100. In fact, actually, it's 111 miles in total, that one. It's exactly where I was. So let me give you a few tips on how to get there, reach your goal with limited time. And it's all about, for me, not massive miles, not hours and hours of training, it's about efficiency building. Hey, you still have to be disciplined, you still have to do some miles, but there are easier ways of training to get it done. Okay, let's get into it. Before we start, if you enjoy the videos, following for then please give me a follow. Much appreciated. Cheers, guys. Well, an absolute stunner of a day. Ah, beautiful day for a run. Anyway, quick bit of background first, I think. So I took up running about five to six years ago. In the first three years, I did five ultras, I think. Typical training sessions, back-to-backs, lots of miles, lots of frequency. I was probably training seven, eight times a week. Uh, frequency in terms of doing some real short stuff, lots of little short runs, and then at the weekend doing long back-to-backs. So I suppose kind of typical ultra training for, for running 40, 50 miles, that sort of thing. <coughs> then COVID hit had our first child at the same time and for two years I didn't really didn't really do much I didn't do any ultras certainly um, but I was only running two or three times a week short distance so when I saw this event coming up um, brand new event 111 mile ultra I thought I'm going to go for that always wanted to do 100 miles it's always been my goal for years and years and years so I entered it had five months to train and so my fitness level my base fitness level was probably that I could run a half decent half mar marathon. That's my starting point. I did lots of reading on other methods for training because going away every weekend and doing two good quality three to four hour runs just wasn't, it just wasn't going to be a thing. And I stumbled across a number of articles about training and it was about increasing efficiency. And I thought, do you know what? That's me. Let's give it a go and see what we can do. So here's some tips from that training and from my own personal training of how I got to achieve doing the 111 miler, five months training, all based really on efficiency. So tip number one, if you have the chance to walk, walk anywhere you go, going into town, going to work, lunchtime at work, real key, one for me. I was walking every lunchtime at work for about 45 minutes. And when I say walk, I've got this saying, it's called walking with purpose. So you wanna be walking, if you can ideally, between 15 minute mile to 20 minute mile pace. You want walking efficiency, because trust me, during a long ultra like that, you'll be walking a lot. Another thing that I did related to the walking was every so often, every three, four weeks, I'd go out, take myself out for a nice long walk. Um, and I mean three to four hours of walking. That would be one of my long sessions for the week. Okay, so walking, big key, get it done. Number two, interval training. Now, I did no interval training for my first three years of doing ultra marathons, believe it or not. But I got into it for this because that was the key for efficiency training. So every Tuesday, and every couple of weeks I'd do a session on the weekend as well, but normally once a week I'd go out and I'd do a run of between six, seven miles, and I'd do some intervals. And my final interval sessions were four half mile efforts or two one mile efforts. That was it. But the key to it, right, this is the thing, because we're trying to be as efficient as we can with our time for training is each of those efforts, you completely fuck yourself, okay? So at the end of each interval, you hardly wanna be able to walk at the end of it. It's gotta be that hard, that's the level of hard it's gotta be. Then rest an appropriate amount of time for you, whether you do that in time or, or distance, then go again. 
by the end of it you've got to be completely shattered that's how you build efficiency in your muscles that you're going to need because trust me when you're going massive massive distances efficiency is such a big key so part two of efficiency training really is tempo running one of my runs at the weekend never would never do more than than eight miles possibly ten at a push I'll go and do some uh, tempo running so I started off this is a, this is every week I do this I started off and I do eight miles and I did one 15 minute block by the time I'd got to you know two or three weeks before my ultra I was doing about 10 miles I'd do two 20 minute blocks or one tempo run at about 40 minutes tempo run 40 minutes in there in that in that 10 mile again so you have a side of building efficiency muscular efficiency muscular endurance taking the impact and it made the biggest difference to me I think I even because of that tempo running the only race I did last year the only other race I did was a 10k and I absolutely smashed my PB and I wasn't really training for speed but those two sessions tempo training session interval training session massive difference to my PB down from 41 minutes to 39 minutes basically dead so yeah tempo running really important so the long stuff you've got to I say it's all about efficiency but you've still got to do the long sessions every so often I do mine every two to three weeks but I structure them in quite a quite a specific way the odd one I do in the daytime but most of the time when I'm doing these longer ones I would go out either 8 9 p.m. at night or um, really early in the morning at 4 o'clock in the morning and I'd see off 15 15 to 20 miles that to me was psychologically giving me an advantage doing them late night or early in the morning um, again I feel like it made a really big difference physical physical strength and mental strength both those things the other thing I'd say is and I did this a couple of times was I walked went out and walked from 10 p.m. to about 4 a.m. a couple of times the night is so hard on a hundred miler you have to negotiate it it's a thing that kills my most people quit during the night either the start of the night because they know what's coming or during the night so trust me practice going out in the night but it makes me difference and again you're not sacrificing necessary time with the family because you're doing it at night time you're gonna be knackered at the weekend but you'll still be there still be present so you might get some bonus points from the wife for training that way around or the girlfriend so yeah that's another big thing to do so I want to be quite clear of this that was my training session was effectively for five months and in that time I think I did 20 miles about I think it's three times I did 15 miles probably about six or seven times in that five months maximum and I did one really long run which was taking me into the night time which was a 30 miler and that was it I didn't do any stupid long two lots of 20 mile back to backs at the weekends consistently I didn't do anything like that but that is how I trained I also made sure I ate practiced eating different types of food got my tummy ready for it I also practiced my pacing tactics on some of the runs and I think it was just has been a bit of a longer run my pacing tactics really listen I knew it was gonna to be tough I knew it was gonna struggle my way around I knew it was mental so my pacing tactics was to do 10 minutes walking 20 minutes running that might seem a little bit extreme in terms of the amount of walking done but it worked for me I still got to 50 miles in I think it's about 11 hours which is not unreasonable so yeah build your efficiency that's the way to do it I'm just gonna summarize my typical week um, of training when I was into a typical normal week which was Tuesday going to do an interval session Friday I'll go out and do a five miler early in the morning let's go and get some miles done there's no structure to that's just without running Saturday I'll go out and do a tempo run 
So I'll do maybe 10 miles and then two lots of 20 minutes of tempo in there. And then Sunday, I might get up quite early in the morning, maybe 4 a.m. or stay up late at night, start at 10, and I'd go out and do 12 to 15 miles, let's say. That was a typical week. And whenever I could, I'd be out walking, walking with purpose, walking at 15 minute mile pace. Lunch times I'd do 45 minutes, and I walk to and from work. Weekends I walk into town with the wife and the baby. And that is a typical week. And yeah, if you do that, determined, disciplined with it, you know, in five minutes you'll be able to do a hundred miler as well. So good luck with your training. Any questions, let me know. Great if you start following me. I've got a few a few things coming up, a few challenges coming up, a few events coming up, a few more tips. Take care guys.